Welcome to the Crazy Dime Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. <laughs> did you forget what you were going to say or I something? I kind of did. Yeah, a little bit there. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because I'm being put on the spot. Today on a special episode. Uh, Moesha? Spe- <laughs> yeah, sure. So a very t- special episode of Moesha. Uh, we're going to discuss what's in Dynamite's head. John, oh, okay. I, 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 oh, man. I Yeah, I got another topic to talk about. So go ahead, man. <laughs> this, this intro is the best we've ever done. I mean, it's how can you top every episode? They're always the best. A- amen to that, brother. All right. I came to this conclusion uh, why I was like, it was like a shower thought. Okay. Why is it that we put cereal and milk together? When, uh, because it tastes better than water. But when you put cereal into a liquid, it automatically starts breaking the cereal down. That's, it is it is the worst environment for the cereal to inhabit for structural integrity. Yet that is how we use Right, it. but you know. And then you're on a timer. That's the point. What because, the hell does that Have mean? you ever? Dude. What does that have mean? Have you that's ever? The point. That first bite of cereal sometimes hurts. <laughs> like, like if you, if you. Are you eating rocks, man? Captain Crunch is very hard. If you if you put Captain Crunch in a bowl, pour milk, and you just take a big old spoonful, and you're like, gah, gah, gah. like that would jam into the roof of your mouth. What That'll... noise was that again? Gah, gah, gah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I you know it's a good. I make it all the time. I just wish the listeners had the visual that yeah. I got. <laughs> so, you know, like I ain't saying Fruit Loops is out here hurting people's mouths, but Fruit Loops are kind of crunchy too, man. They're a little, they're a little tough. I don't know. I I just I guess my problem lies with the fact of like. Not only are you putting the cereal in the worst environment for it to maintain any structural integrity, but the fact that you're immediately on a timer. Oh, yeah. I stopped eating cereal because I eat it too fast and then I'm still hungry. Because I'm just like, I'm just like, I'll pour a bowl of cereal, pour milk on it. No, I have four seconds before it's a soggy mess. I'm just like, blah, 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 like shoveling saying. it into my it's mouth. Like, it's like if you get too invested in what you're watching on TV or you start reading the back of the box, you have to get up and take a piss. You come back, you're, you basically got a, a bowl of oatmeal. You now. might as well throw it in the trash. So why is this the way we eat cereal? I think the bigger question is, who thought it was okay to put cow milk on cereal? That is the more important question. Who thought it was a good idea to take cow milk out of all the milks? You're not even wrong. Honestly, I'm tempted to look up the history of cereal, but instead I'm just going to stay ignorant and we're going to keep talking about it like it's an insane invention. Who wants cereal? God damn it, that's weird. (laughs) so crazy. Yeah, I can't believe anyone wants to eat that. They're they're just slopping it up. Now, I'm not going to lie, Jonas. Growing up, um, I realized I was lactose intolerant like around, I don't know, like 11 or 12 or something. Right, I, was, right. I was always mad at my mom for not telling me earlier in life because I... I Just that gas all the time. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Kids can be cruel, Jonas. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you when you're fart. And when you eat cereal every morning and your mom makes you oatmeal with condensed milk, yes, you go to school and you, and you, and you fart a lot. I mean, it, it happens. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So I would just eat cereal. I would just put like cereal in a cup and I would just eat that. Like the dry cereal? Yeah. Yeah, I would eat that cereal as a snack like that a lot. Yeah. Like I would just come home from school, get a. I used to, I used to put milk in it though. I called it cup of cereal. And like, because I was stupid. You were just always a cool guy, I guess. Yeah. Huh? Dude, I have been this cool for <laughs> ever. I'd be like, call my mom, be like, have a cup of cereal? She'd be like, sure, weirdo. But anyways, yes, you can eat it out of a cup. Yeah, for sure. So you never put milk on it because yeah. did I, you I, try an alternative liquid? No, 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 no. I will tell you, Water's though, bad, though. I love cereal a lot. Like I, It's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, I can't buy it anymore because it's one of those foods that I can't stop myself. I just want to eat the whole, whole goddamn box of cereal. And I'm like, why? Yeah. It's just carbs. It's sugar. It's just car- no, Even if you get like sugar. Special K, which is healthy cereal, it's still just goddamn sugar. Yeah, a lot of it is. It is just sugar. It, it's, you know, and like a lot of a lot of countries will make fun of American breakfast because they're just like, oh, you're just eating a bunch of sugar. It's a yeah, donut. You can't get a big old fat boy breakfast. They're like, here, get a whole plate with beans and ham and eggs yeah. and two sausages. Pieces, and two pieces of bread slathered in butter. Yeah, like it's when I went over and had like a full breakfast in in uh, that's what they call it. The full breakfast in England. The I full was like, English. The full English. Oh, full English. Yeah, I was flipping stuffed i'm like that is way too much food for is a it? breakfast it, it yes like look at a pl- you get it, it comes with like beans it, it comes with beans 
and sausage yeah. and ham yeah. and eggs yeah. and some other stuff. I don't even remember what haggis some places, which is actually pretty damn good. Haggis? Yeah. Isn't dude. that like boiled guts or something? Yeah. Yeah, I it's had like someone I went over there. It was pretty good, dude. Not gonna lie. Get the fuck yeah, out of and here, uh, and like yeah, tomatoes shit. and like I was just like, yo, that's a lot of food. Okay. I mean, like I see pictures of the full English on Reddit and stuff. Nothing, you know, like obviously I've seen a picture of it. And I'm, I'm always looking at it, like it looks good. I don't really know how beans are gonna be it's incorporated. Not my jam, to be honest, I don't even like beans like that. But it was all right. I mean, I don't know. Beans for breakfast seems a little weird. Like charred you, tomatoes is the weird part too. Yeah, well, I kind of like that. That's all right. I guess that like as a garnish. But I don't know. I just like you setting yourself up. If you if you give me a breakfast beans, like you set me up for the whole day. By lunch, them beans are gonna start reacting. Yeah, they're the magical fruit. Exactly. Yeah, it's like eating milk. Anyways, so, back to cereal. My favorite cereal, Jonas. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I believe we've been over this a couple oh, times, but I just a, want to You know what's really weird is like I, my mom never bought that when I was growing up, mm -hmm. and I until I was God, I was in my thirties. Uh, went like I was uh, married and had stepkids, and one of them wanted it, and I was like, I've never had that, and he's like, You really should have a bowl. It's great, and I'm like, Uh huh, whatever, kid. No, and I've had no. some of it. And I was like, What is life? It is. It's I amazing. literally was like, What is life right it's now? Amazing. Not talk about one you can eat out of the goddamn box. Yeah. You don't even need milk on it. That yeah. one right there. But then again, you're just basically taking in like, I don't know, 5,000 calories. Yeah. Another <laughs> one I really liked, uh, I never buy it, but I really liked it was cookie, cookie crisp. It's just the little cookies. Like that was always good to eat out of the, I would eat that out of the box with, that isn't one of my favorite cereals, but I would eat it out of the box, yeah. like yeah. just dry. Yeah. I, can, I mean, like I can see it. Uh, cookie crisp always felt like more of like, I don't know. It felt like it was just like a little too memey for me. Like, oh, I get it. They're cookie shaped. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. taste like a chocolate chip um, cookie. When I was a bit. kid, what did I eat? The three cereals I ate the most. Captain Crunch. No. I was uh, Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, and Fruity Pebbles were the three that like I rotated in the house constantly. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then we would dabble in like I would dabble in. Uh, my mom went on a big Golden Grams kick for a while. And then I got. Uh, Golden Grams. Yeah. They got kind of. I got sick of those. They get real soggy. They turn into like. Wayfish little like flat crackers. What are wait? What are the ones that are shaped like teddy bears? I don't think they do those anymore. But they were uh, it, it wasn't uh, te honey, Teddy Graham. It was honey honeycombs. It was the teddy bear was the honeycomb guy. Teddy no, bear that's sugar the, bear, and he was the uh, sugar. No, he was the little pink rice. Right, me? What sugar bear was the sugar smacks guy, right? Or was that the frog? That was the frog. Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks. Yeah, I didn't like those. They're, yeah, no. But Sugar Bear, he was like, I'm Sugar Bear. Taste the cereal. Taste the cereal, so, kids. Sounds like a sleaze ball. <laughs> he kind of he gave off some creepy vibes. What, uh, what was your favorite cereals when you were a kid? What ones did you eat the um, most? Uh, definitely Peanut Butter Crunch. Uh, uh, that was Peanut Butter Crunch? What damn cereal yeah. is that? Oh, Captain Crunch Peanut Butter Crunch? It was, it was yeah, Captain Crunch Peanut Butter Crunch. Uh, I'm not surprised because you do enjoy peanut butter I, a lot. I'm a, I'm a fiend. Uh, King Vitamin was amazing. And I want you to think like I was I was poor or anything. We, <laughs> I don't want you to think I was poor. Because we rarely went to the stores that actually had King Vitamin. You know what stores they are. Um, but w when we did go there, then it was King Vitamin. Big 100%. weird looking gray haired white man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, that white man was making great cereal, Jonas. All right. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, so. It does not matter the color of his skin, but the content of his bag of, of his cereal. Yeah, it was a, always a bag of cereal with that yeah. one, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, this, those two mainly? I mean, yeah. I, I, I didn't eat a lot of cereal. I, was, I found out oh, I was lactose yeah, yeah. intolerant. My, uh, was like, that, that life is over for me. My mom would always buy Honey Nut Cheerios when she was trying to make me eat, like, healthy cereal, quote, unquote. I didn't like regular Cheerios because people just back in the day would just put sugar in it. No. And I'm like, why are you just putting sugar yeah. in your cereal? That's gross. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, but breakfast foods that that uh are are kind of kind of off, or I should say, not even breakfast food, but all foods that are kind of like like you're put on a timer to eat, just kind of give me an idea. Like I feel like ice cream should be taken off the table. We yeah. don't need ice cream anymore. I will. Uh, I'll put a hot take out here that frozen pizza is on that list. Thank you. Because it, it's too hot to eat when it comes out. Yep. And if you wait too long, it just turns into 
trash. And you can't reheat it. Yeah, it's like it turns into like cold cardboard. Like the the right, you're either burning your goddamn roof of your mouth off, yep. or you're eating cardboard, and you're like, this is gross. This is so true. See, you, you have like a three to four minute window where it actually is <laughs> a like three minute window is wild. Yeah, because it'll be funny. Like I like I'll go over to somebody's house and we'll eat like a frozen pizza a lot of the times because there's one that's pretty good. But like it's we have to pull it out. And we have to, like, get the pizza on the thing. And then, like, we'll watch, like, a little bit of a show. And, like, maybe, like, ten minutes later, I go to get, like, another piece. And that shit is cold and almost unedible. Uh, and I'm, like, inedible, I guess would be the word. Yeah. I'm, like, what the hell is wrong? With, how is what? And then yeah, it's, it's, like, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What ice, else? I, like, and like I said, ice cream, definitely on that list. Any food that, while I'm eating it, it's decomposing in my hand. I'm not. Why? Yeah. Why? It's, like, it goes from being a solid treat to a a soup and yeah i mean it's not bad ice cream soup. soup is pretty good though <laughs> ice cream don't make it don't say that like it's actually a thing like you just melt ice cream and sprinkle some oreos in it it's so gross dude <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross you're it's just eating a bowl of heavy cream yeah i used to let my frosties melt at wendy's and i would just drink them Okay, now look. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm I, look. I'm 100 percent the guy that will take my Halo top and I'll put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds to get it soft. And I have eaten a frosty with a straw before. Yeah, they're good. Yo. It's a milkshake at that point. Well, frosties are too thick. They're like frosties are like you a get, milkshake, but not a milkshake. Frosties are a soft serve ice cream. That's all they are. Yeah, but like I don't know. Wendy's doesn't even have a milkshake. No, they have frosties, which are meant to be eaten with a spoon. That's their jam. They don't give you a straw with a... Uh, but if you uh, wait 10 minutes, it's a milkshake. No, it doesn't melt that fast, but it does melt pretty quickly. But also, when I used to work there when I was a, uh, a young a young <laughs> buck back in the day, that shit comes as... It's like thick chocolate milk in a bag. So, like, sometimes, like, at, like everyone... Some people would be like, we're filling up the Frosty machine, and people would, like, run over with, like, cups, and, like, they would be like, we'll pour you a little cup of the, of the, the, the Frosty juice before we pour it in the machine. It's just thick chocolate milk. Oh, I'm sorry. I also have an issue when I see large amounts of food together <laughs> in like a vat. I can't take that, man. Vat, certain... Yeah, we talked about vat foods. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Like I, honestly, as soon as you said that, I'm like, I never want another frosty again. Once I can picture like a large. That's sack... all ice cream. Stop. Stop. I won't you ruin, it, ruin it for me. I'm yeah, gonna I won't. Throw up. I won't. I'm gonna throw I won't up. So, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Cereal. I mean, I I love cereal. I uh, I really. Don't buy cereal because then I have to buy milk, and I like milk way too much that I want to drink it all, even though it's not healthy. Um, so milk I don't, is disgusting. I don't buy it. Putting that out there too. Milk so is good. No, I, I like it so much, and I don't know why. It, what do you like the flavor of milk? So why don't they have like uh, I don't know milk flavored water? Because it's called milk. Why don't they? No, I'm milk saying, is milk flavored water. I'm yo. saying why isn't milk like a, one of those flavor profiles that are tossed in other things? Like, like why is milk there not a milk flavored jelly beans? <laughs> yeah, a milk flavored soda. Why is Ew. there not a milk flavored candy bar? Because it's its own thing. Nah. I mean, milk chocolate, by the way. But you know, I, whatever. So, <laughs> whatever. anyways, but that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, yep.